263 is in fact an extension and the math was actually very close. Um, this is an extension um, that we need because we're trying to figure out how to develop an RFP that also incorporates the new provisions under the Affordable Care Act, which as you know is the next resolution on your agenda, which hopefully will lower that cost in the future if in fact the state uh, enacts certain provisions of that. Thank you. 268. <coughs> Through you, Chairman, um, uh, the contract with Ruderman and Glickman is to uh, finalize three matters that they had uh, that are carryover from last year. Thank you. 273, we have your Rector Reyes, Deputy County Manager. <coughs> Chairman, trade holders. Uh, 273, the contract is um, going to be used in regards to runover as a, um, uh, as a need, uh, a basis for need. So if we need something for runover, we'll use it not to exceed 88, but it is not divided or portioned out in, in any way right now, just exclusively for runover. Great. And before you go, 269, uh, just a brief overview of what Alonzo is doing. Sure. Um, basically, um, the contract's not for one van. Um, it is for literally for nine of them in the county. So it's 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 also on a work for basis, and it's not just for one van or one construction project. It is for the inspection of all nine of them, all our county vans. Okay. Thank you. County Council, you had a response for two seventy six and two eighty. That was the percentage, that was, uh, I guess, the percentage of the case. case oh, yes, yeah. in, uh, in the Figueroa case, uh, those two uh, firms are the only outside firms uh, handling the matter. So that represents, those two items represent 100% of the outside costs. And uh, can we comment at all on 282 yet, the settlement with Um Sure. That one involves, uh, VESPA is actually a subcontractor on the um, uh, vehicle storage building. Um, the uh, contractor, Sean Ree, at one point we received a mechanics lien from VESPA for $24,000. At the time we received the mechanics lien, there was a balance of approximately, uh, they're actually exactly $12,569. 95 cents. Under the law, when we receive a mechanics lien, we must freeze the assets that we have. That's what we did. Uh, more often than not, when the contractor and the sub cannot work the matter out, they will institute a lawsuit and we will be joined as a party because we have the remaining money. In this particular instance, um, Sean Reed and Vesper were able to work out their differences. Sean Reed agreed that Vesper should be paid. Um, since we do not have a contract with VESPA, and my um, authority to settle matters is limited to $5,000, um, we had to put a, uh, a resolution on. There's no dispute as to the amount of money. It is the balance that we had for this project. Thank you. Yeah. Um, with that, uh, may I have a motion uh, 